floss pen. To our worldwide customers, partners and developers, a very good morning and namaste. As many of you know, yoga is a passion for me. Yoga taught me how to regain my balance and stay centered in every situation, strive for excellence, and seek unity in serving each other. As I reflect on my journey over the past with all of you, first and foremost, my sincere gratitude and appreciation for accepting me and owning me part of you. The thing that inspires me the most about our community is <laughs> how united we are. We represent unity in how we share our best ideas, our applications, and our successes with each other. As I spend time with you all around the world, the thing that very unique about our community is how we represented excellence in building world-leading custom apps that allowed many organizations across all industries of all sizes to successfully participate in the digital journey. Many of them went for paper processes to complete digital companies, achieving better outcomes and improved productivity. In this current times of an unprecedented pandemic and growing social inequalities and the tensions, our role has never been more profound to create this transformational outcomes for our customers and partners worldwide and strive for unity and the well-being. Now let me share with you some examples from our community. Keynight is a Claris Solutions partner that builds solutions for high-tech automotive industry. Cars with autonomous driving capability are very complex to build. They're also subject to a lot of government regulations for both production and operation. In short, what this means is they're very expensive to build. At the very same time, they're subjected to growing competitive pressures. So what they are always looking to do is to how to bring faster vehicles and bring the cost down. That's when Keynight built a purpose-built software on Claris called Itineraries that brings a single information flow, data coming from PLM systems, CRM, ERP, data acquisition software that allows the cars to be built much faster. The net outcome, the regular development cycles went from 48 months to 36 months. That's one full year of savings, and those savings are now allowing the car manufacturers to put more modern technology, such as emission-free vehicles. Two years ago, temperatures soared in Japan. That put a lot of population at risk. Matsunami General Hospital suddenly overwhelmed with up to 20,000 patients, a majority of them elderly, seeking care from heat stroke. The hospital staff did not have enough resources to respond to that crisis. That's when they partnered with Claris to build an end-to-end -end IoT solution that continuously monitor the health of the patients and the surroundings, that also prioritize the treatment for the ones that are at significant risk and then continuously monitor the well-being of every patient. This solution allowed the hospital to respond to this crisis and took care of all the, all the patients. With that success, the director of the hospital said, with Claris and the file maker, they could pretty much take on anything. They could solve any problem. This is the power of our community. 
you as the problem solvers, you help many organizations across all verticals, education, healthcare, retail, transportation, and we have teachers, students, pilots, and doctors, they're all using the Claris platform to build the best custom applications and driving transformation. This is Claris. Let's look at where we are headed next. At Claris, our vision and mission is to support you to build intelligent apps, intelligent automation, driving better outcomes to the workplaces that you're part of. We are super fortunate and proud of our community of the developers worldwide. And we facilitate better outcomes to global customers across all industries. Our platform truly embraces developers across the entire spectrum, for, from citizen developers who do not have any coding skills, to business developers and professional developers that bring advanced developer skills. And our platform is built on cloud smart technology. That means you have the flexibility to run Claris either in the cloud or on-prem or closer to the edge if you work in remote offices. At the very same time, Claris ensures you the consistent experience, the seamless experience across all the cloud form factors. Why is this vision relevant now? In today's era, every company, whether you're a dairy farm to a hospital or a school or a manufacturing or, or in the government, every company is a software company. Every company is adopting digital. And every employee in an organization that is closer to a business process is a developer. And every developer or the employee is responsible for driving intelligent automation, resulting in better outcomes for their team and for their organization. This is our opportunity. Every customer that's around us is somebody that we could help with to transform and result in better outcomes. This is how we're gonna grow our economic value for ourselves, for our customers and partners. And this is a $10 billion market opportunity. When we define workplace innovation platform as the convergence of the traditional low core that's responsible for building custom apps with API centric automation, sometimes referred to as IPaaS, with more business processes that are legacy that do not have RESTful APIs, sometimes referred to as RPA. The convergence of these three is defined as workplace innovation platform that's built on the foundation of the cloud smart technology, artificial intelligence, security, the marketplace. Our definition of workplace innovation platform is now inspiring many across the industry and everybody is trying to follow our vision. When I talk to analysts or the customers, everybody resonates with our category definition. Something that we all have to be proud of is a market that we created is inspiring every industry, every customer around. Now, what is an intelligent app? I want to make sure that every app that we build is built on four pillars. Number one, every intelligent app needs to be cloud smart. That means we need to be able to author these applications in the cloud or on-prem or remote at the edge. At the very same time, the end users need to be able to access wherever they are. And cloud smart is not just about the form factor. It's also about security, which I'm gonna talk about in just a moment. And the second pillar of an intelligent app that's built on Claris needs to represent modern experience. That means, we need to enable the device native rich experiences, whether you're on the desktop, whether it's in the mobile, whether it's iOS or Android or wearables. And this device native experience also need to be portable. In other words, if, we, if I author this application on the desktop, it should seamlessly run on every other device. The third, in the era of digital transformation or the intelligent automation, Automation is central to every intelligent app that we built. That automation could be either API centric or non-API centric. We want to ensure that every intelligent app facilitate a business outcome. 
And last but not least is advanced technologies, leveraging more AI, advanced augmented reality, and more modern technologies like blockchain and smart contracts. In addition to embracing these four pillars, we're also introducing a new design paradigm for intelligent app that's best suited for digital transformation. It's all about insights, actions, and outcomes. Every app needs to clearly tell you what outcomes that you're driving, and insights, real-time insights about where you are with respect to achieving those outcomes, and what actions that somebody needs to take to get to the outcomes that they want. An inspiring example for this paradigm is Activity App. With three circles, it gives me the visibility about what outcomes that I'm driving towards better health, and where am I every day, every moment, with, with the progress towards my, my outcomes in terms of my movement, exercise, and stand goals. And also clearly guiding me with actions on how can I, how I'm allowed to achieve those outcomes. I want to ensure that every intelligent app that's built on Claris platform embraces this design paradigm of insights, actions, and outcomes. Now let's look at the developers. Today, with all the activity that we generated in the, in the workplace innovation platform, there are a lot of players in this space. And all of them come with different abilities. I know many of you sometimes complain about how can we express the richness of the Claris platform? To help with this, I'm now using a speedometer as a metaphor to describe our developer personas. This speedometer metaphor is so aptly suited because ultimately we are all about driving digital transformation. So at the low end of the spectrum, it's all about the citizen developers who want to build simple apps. With no coding required, all they're doing is building simple apps with forms and the fields. And to build more richer intelligent app experiences, we can actually bring the add-ons, the rich add-ons that the community built, like calendars and Kanban boards, and you can build more richer experiences. And we refer them to as 40 citizen developers. And the next tier of the developers is the business developer. People who are building relationships and driving more automation, both API-centric and non-API-centric, and facilitating business process automation or the intelligent automation. And these are people who can drive up to 60 or the 60 developers. And at the high end of the spectrum are the professional developers who are very comfortable with coding, scripting, advanced technologies like AI, and custom web publishing that can serve a business developer or citizen developer in terms of marketplace components. If you look at this entire spectrum, Claris is the only platform that can cater to both citizen developers and all the way to professional developers, the 20 to 80. There are some vendors who only specialize on the low end of the spectrum. They can only take you to 20 or 40 at best. And some are built so complex that it requires a lot of infrastructure and professional services to go build the intelligent apps. That's not who we are. Our job is to help build intelligent apps and intelligent automation quickly and affordably. In other words, we focus on the spectrum 20 to 80, with our primary focus is to help the business developers, the 60s, who are at the center of driving digital transformation. Intelligent apps and intelligent automation vision, and with the definition of what intelligent apps mean, and the definition of personas of the citizen developer and business developer and the professional developer, let's look at our products. Claris platform consists of three products. We are no longer a single product company. It all starts with FileMaker. Claris FileMaker that has been allowing all of you to build intelligent custom apps. In the second product, Claris Connect, we released, we launched earlier this year in March 2020 that allows you to seamlessly stitch together and drive restful API-centric automation. And the third product that we are investing in, which is our next-gen product, and you will hear from my team all the capabilities and where we are headed across all these three products. The unique thing about the Claris platform is that all these three products are built on a common Claris core. Why is this important? The core ensures that 
all the products have the same cloud smart technology. That means you can use all these products in the cloud or on-prem or on the edge. And they all get the same security benefits. And they all have a common marketplace experience. And they will also have result in the same end user experience for both developers and the consumers. And that's the Claris experience. That's what Claris Core represents. Now let me share with you some investments that were made in the Cloud Smart technology. Last year, we, we told you that we are adopting a cloud first strategy. And we have made tremendous in investments. We've significantly invested in our cloud technology. And we've also invested a lot on both FileMaker and the Connect and the on-prem. And we're continuing to invest on the edge experience. Let me share with you on the cloud. I'm very glad to announce to you that now we are available in two regional data centers in Americas. And we also released our footprint in Japan. In a few weeks, we're launching in Ireland and Frankfurt. That's our commitment to all of you that allows you to meet the judicial regulations of every country and every jurisdiction and meet their local data privacy standards and giving you the best performance. And we are not stopping here. We're going to continue to add more footprint in cities like Sydney and Singapore, and we will have the best footprint around the world. Security. Security is a passion for me. I spent about 25 years in the security industry building different technologies. And security is important for, for Claris. Security and privacy were core to Claris and our parent company, Apple. We invested a lot in protecting against most external threats with capabilities such as distributed denial of service, a next-gen firewall, and an encryption capability that's now using FIPS 140-2 HSM. And we also have AI-based insider threat capabilities and application security capabilities. And we're gonna to continue to invest in and also leverage the security capabilities from AWS and Apple. And building on this, we're also investing in certifications. We have launched a SOC 2 type 2 certification program. And we are also investing in a zero trust certification. And we are going to invest in a FedRAM to meet the needs of our federal and the government customers. And marketplace. Marketplace is core to Claris platform. The only way we're going to succeed together is by allowing all of you to freely exchange your apps, your add-ons, and the flows so that our developers can build more intelligent apps and drive more intelligent automation. We started the marketplace last year, and this year we're extending that to with add-ons and the flows. And we're going to continue to invest in the marketplace and make that be an integrated product experience. So with our Claris platform, where are we headed? We now have a two-pronged execution strategy. Number one, FileMaker. FileMaker defined our success so far, and it continue to do so. We are investing a lot in the FileMaker with our focus in making it more agile, cloud smart, and make it community first. The focus is to allow all of you to share your assets, your ideas, so that we can continue to build more richer, intelligent app experiences. Number two, our investment in new products. Building on the success of the Claris Connect launch, we are investing in more capabilities, also driving industry-specific solutions and our next-gen product. You will hear from my team on the capabilities that are coming into all these three products and what we plan to do over the next few years. So before I transition to having my team share with you the demos and the product capabilities, let me share with you my new team. As you can see, we have grown tremendously. We've added several new faces. And let me share some of the new people. Gaith Kawar, in an industry veteran in design for over 25 years, is now leading the Claris divine across all products. Nusha Jade is, is an industry veteran in AI. She's now joined Claris to drive AI and modern innovation and marketplace. Pavitra, who comes to us from Apple, who is an expert in analytics, who's now working with Sangeeta in building cloud, cloud solutions. 
Sasha, who interned with us before from Berkeley, who built the Connect design and, and user interface, she now came back as full-time driving the future products innovation. The thing that I'm proud of of this team is we not only represent the best of breed domain and operational experience, we bring the, the gender diversity that's very rare in Silicon Valley. To add to the diversity, I sometimes joke that we also have the most number of people with mustache, including myself. So with that, let me transition to Rick Kalman, my best friend and the spiritual partner and longtime Claris community leader to share with you what we are doing on FileMaker 90. All right, thank you, Srini. Now with FileMaker 19, we've made a number of enhancements, all designed to help developers drive transformative digital outcomes for their businesses, organizations, and customers. Now, Srini spoke earlier about the tech pillars that make up an intelligent app. And we have made some key enhancements in FileMaker 19 to provide even better support for these pillars. You can now create apps directly in FileMaker Cloud from FileMaker enabling fast-track app deployment, skipping the multi-step configuration process, and making apps instantly shareable to your team. We've also made enhancements to FileMaker Cloud, for instance, single sign-on support that now uses Ping and Okta. And we released FileMaker Server for Linux, a developer preview, and later this summer we'll have a fully certified version of that server. Now, with support for JavaScript and FileMaker 19, it enables FileMaker to become a much more open platform, leveraging hundreds of JavaScript libraries to easily add things such as maps, animated graphics, data visualizations, and more to your custom apps. Now, later this summer, we'll deliver several ready-made drag-and-drop JavaScript add-on components that will allow you to create rich and powerful custom apps in a snap. Now, of course, your custom apps need unique workflows. And with FileMaker, along with our data API and web hooks, plus Claris Connect, you can easily orchestrate and automate your business processes. You can build more intelligent apps using core ML machine learning models and Siri shortcuts for voice-enabled interactions leveraging natural language processing, enabling you to unlock the potential of your data with things such as image classification, sentiment analysis, object detection, voice interactions, and more. So next I'd like to introduce John Sindelar of SeedCode to talk about the power and the potential that's already available to you today with FileMaker 19 using the platform that you already know. Hi. I'm really excited about the add-ons in FileMaker 19, especially for a company like SeedCode whose whole business is building things that get stitched onto other files. So let's stitch something onto this file. This is the contacts example. It's one of the create new templates in FileMaker 19, and it's dead simple. Just got a couple of relationships, a couple of scripts. So let's augment this by adding day back to it. I'll go into layout mode, click the plus button, and there's day back. This is the calendar that we've been selling and supporting for years, now packaged as an add-on, which means that you can install it in one click. And what that means for the company, for us, for the developers, is that our support has transitioned from supporting people integrating Dayback to supporting people who are customizing it. And that's where the value is. So what's happening here? Uh, the add-on is adding all the scripts, layouts, table occurrences that you need to work with this. It's putting that all into your file and doing all that work for you. So the integration is being done and it's done. So there's Dayback. I don't even have to drag it out of the layout because the add-on process has made a layout for us. And if I go to that layout, we'll see a little web viewer here. It's made the table occurrences and relationships that Dayback needs. It's even brought in the sample data. So all I have to do to have a working calendar is go into browse mode. And there it is. There's the calendar and there's our sample data, which is incredible. It works. I can edit records. I can go into uh, different views. I can extend uh, this event. The undo script works. We know our FileMaker scripts are firing. That's incredible. That's a tremendous amount of work already done. And now customers can start pointing this at their own data. What's really cool about this is that Claris released this script step before it was kind of fully baked. You know, there was the script step is in FileMaker 19, but there wasn't a lot of documentation. In fact, we learned how to do this by reading an article that Todd and Jeremy at Geist Interactive wrote. 
So when Clarice talks about being agile, this is what they're talking about. Release something early, let the community figure it out, let the community document it, and now developers are already getting a ton of value from this. We've got a calendar in one click that works in Pro and Web Direct. That's powerful. This kind of agility is great for the platform, and I couldn't be more excited. All right, thank you, John. Now, FileMaker, it's the platform that enables first-time citizen developers, as well as professional developers, the tools to deliver rich, robust, custom business apps that help better drive digital outcomes for their business. So what's next on the horizon for the FileMaker platform? Well, Srini showed this slide earlier. Uh, and as you may be aware, demand for custom apps has outstripped the capacity of traditional dev and IT to produce them. We've recently seen an increase in the number of no-code and low-code tools to appear alongside FileMaker all intended to help fill this gap. FileMaker Pro is a powerful set of capabilities, but what if you want to make it easier for those new to the platform to create their initial custom business app? So we're working to empower a broader range of developers to create custom intelligent apps to help digitally transform their businesses and organizations. Now to help bring even more developers to the FileMaker platform, we'll be providing a better initial development experience. And this will also help us expand the number of app developers within organizations that already use FileMaker. So we're introducing Quick App Authoring. Now Quick App Authoring will provide the same consistent authoring experience regardless of where you choose to do your app authoring with FileMaker Pro, but you can also author in a browser. You can author directly in the cloud or on premise. Now we expect to begin delivering Quick App Authoring to the FileMaker platform later this summer. Quick App Authoring plus JavaScript add-ons will provide all levels of developers that we saw on that slide, from no code to pro code to low code, pro code capability with drag and drop ease of no code. Now we also have a vision of the FileMaker Claris Marketplace that will become a catalyst to help propel our platform to the next level. Opening up the FileMaker platform to rich content created by our worldwide developer community. So you, our developer community, will populate the marketplace not only with great general purpose apps, but also with vertical industry specific add-ons, ready-made apps that are all created by developers who have deep industry domain expertise. Now, it is a great time to be part of the Claris FileMaker community. And I'd like to personally thank you for joining us on this next stage of our journey. So I'd like to turn it over to Robert Halsey to demo some of what's on the near horizon for the FileMaker platform. Thank you, Rick. We'll be releasing Quick App Authoring first to FileMaker Pro then to cloud and on-prem server. Our goal is to make this experience available to all users, regardless of their skill level from any device so that they can participate in their company's digital transformation. So now let's jump in and take a look. So for this example, we'll be taking a look at Quick App Authoring in a web browser. What you're seeing here on screen is an app that I spent mere minutes building. And we're gonna finish it off by hopping into Quick App Authoring and creating a new field. So we'll create new. For this field, we'll use a pop-up menu. We're gonna call it status and we will build in a couple of uh, values so that we ensure accurate data entry. Then we can go ahead and drag this onto the layout. And you'll notice that other objects automatically move out of the way for me so I can drop it into the perfect location. Now, our quick app authoring has a simple and intuitive interface. But that doesn't limit the amazing apps that you're gonna be able to build with it. And that's because when you combine it with our marketplace, we'll be putting the incredible add-on components that our FileMaker community is creating into the hands of problem solvers at all levels. So if we were tracking tasks in this app and we needed a Kanban board, instead of you building that yourself, you can just go up to our marketplace, grab your favorite version, drag it onto the layout, click Save, and that simply, we have a working Kanban board. So with Quick App Authoring, you're going to be able to rapidly develop simple yet powerful apps. And you won't have to worry about hitting a barrier that you may face in other platforms. And that's because you have the option of the entire Claris ecosystem at your disposal. So if you want to build in integrations or, or automations, you can leverage our Claris Connect flows. 
And if you want to take it to the next level and build something that's highly tuned exactly to what your business needs are, you can leverage the full power of the FileMaker Pro tool set. We know that quick app authoring, our add-on components, and our marketplace is ushering in a new era for the FileMaker platform. But we're not alone in that feeling. And to share his excitement and perspective, I would like now to turn things over to Todd of Geist Interactive. Hey, Robert, thanks so much. I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk about the role that Geist Interactive got to play in bringing this new JavaScript and add-on technology to the platform. So we, along with iSolutions, were lucky enough to work on this project with the PM uh, at Claris and the engineering team um, on this stuff. And so we were meeting weekly, sometimes daily, working on issues, trying to figure out how to get certain things solved, squashing bugs. And just look at the result. Look at the interaction that we can get now. I mean, just the, I mean, the animations and the the colors, the rich interactivity. I mean, look at this Apex Charts library even responds to dark mode versus light mode in the operating system. I mean, this is really amazing technology, right? And look at this, look at this uh, responsive, um, this, this responsive photo gallery add-on that we have now. This is coming to the platform and you'll be able to use this, just drag it onto a layout, right? So building, working on this project was just so much fun. I mean, for somebody who's been hacking on FileMaker for more than 20 years, this was really a dream project. I don't think anything like it's ever been done before. I hope they do it again because I thought it was really valuable. Um, and uh, really, this is just the beginning. There's so much more that we could accomplish in the future. But I want to tell you that what I'm most excited about is actually not the technology. It's actually this link right here, this Browse Marketplace link. Because what does this do? This embeds the discovery of new products uh, new add-ons into the application itself, right? So how are we going to find things like this photo gallery or charts library if it if there's no if there's no marketplace? So the marketplace is the second half of this value creation cycle that's super important and that ends up creating the opportunity within the ecosystem, right? Because customers have a place to go to find beautiful add-ons that are created with JavaScript uh, by third parties who have a place to sell it within that marketplace. So that's the opportunity. It takes the technology to build these things and it takes the marketplace to find them and to sell them together. That's where the really exciting uh, opportunities come in the future. And uh, I'm just thrilled that we got to play a part in it. And I'm really excited for what comes next. That's it, Robert, back to you. Thank you, Todd. Next, we'd like to share with you something that we're working on in the Claris Labs. A quick disclaimer first. What you're about to see is something that is still in R&D. We do not have an exact timeline on a release, nor are we guaranteeing that we release it but it's something that we're hard at work on and really excited about. So to demonstrate this for you, I'd like to now turn things over to my colleague, Nusha. Thank you, Robert. We have already showcased our core ML support in FileMaker for seamlessly integrating models such as image recognition, object detection, and Thank you, Robert. We have already showcased our core ML support in FileMaker for seamlessly integrating by proposing a new way to generate applications that are leveraging our four tech pillars of cloud smart, automation, AI, and modern experiences. I'd like to walk you through a POC. Imagine you are an owner of a home inspection company and you want to digitize your paper processes within a few clicks. Now you land on the cloud console and you select the option to convert a paper form to an application. This is an example of a scanned version of a paper form that I'm going to use today. I'm just going to drag and drop and upload. Behind the scenes, we are running machine learning to identify the text, logos, and data fields completely automatically. This is built on top of Amazon AI services, reinforcing our commitment for multi-platform strategy, supporting Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, and other stacks across our platform. Back to you, Robert. Thank you, Nusha. That was amazing. And now with that key barrier solved for their business, they can start focusing on new opportunities to grow things farther. So this is where our marketplace again comes into play. They've gone to our marketplace and they've found a vertical add-on that was created specifically for home inspection companies like theirs. It has a built-in model that does image recognition, so it'll automatically identify what's in that photo. And of course, this is a business they need to get paid, so they've also grabbed a Stripe credit card processor as well. I'll drag that onto the layout. And now when their employees are out in the field and they filled out the form and they're taking photos around the house, the model will automatically identify what's inside that image, make recommendations on potential issues so that you have a cost estimate there for the customer right in the moment. 
You can then build out your bill and show the customer credit card while still at location. So take a moment and think about what we just accomplished here. With no writing of code and just a simple clicks and drag and drop, we were able to take this business's weakness and turn it into a strength. And that is the power of the FileMaker platform, putting powerful technologies in the hands of all users to participate in their digital transformation. Now I've got one final exciting announcement. It's been one of our top feature requests for years, and I'm thrilled to announce that we're bringing FileMaker to Android. You're gonna be able to convert your FileMaker apps to native Android apps, and in most cases, deploy them to the device within seconds. It's gonna offer built-in offline and sync capabilities, as well as parity with most of the FileMaker Go feature set. We're gonna be entering into our ETS program soon, so if you're interested, please reach out to us at ETS underscore program at claris.com. Thank you. Now I'd like to turn things over to Sankita to talk to you a bit about the future of Claris Connect. Thank you, Robert. Intelligent automation is the cornerstone of digital transformation. Our cloud smart workflow orchestration and automation platform Connect has made huge success in the last six months by accelerating outcomes for our customers. Stitching APIs has never been easier. Our customers are building workflows with an easy to use point and click graphical interface. They are streamlining business processes that require human intervention using approvals. Our hybrid platform is allowing them to connect to apps on cloud and on-premise. Apps from Google, Microsoft, Slack, QuickBooks, and many more. By creating workflows that are triggered in real time using webhooks, Connect is providing better insights to our problem solvers. Because of the existing intelligent apps built by our community, 55% of the flows are connecting to FileMaker apps and the rest 45% are built by connecting to other cloud apps. As we continue to grow our connectors, we are investing to bring to our community the best user experience between Connect and FileMaker. We'll see a demo in a bit. Now let me share some of our customer stories. Centric Staffing, a leader in job placement services, has been using phone, text, and manual processes to reach out to customers. Now with Connect, they have automated their entire customer outreach workflow using apps like Twilo, FileMaker, saving 200 hours per week in manual processes that drastically improve their employee productivity. Our next story is about Furnace Records, a familiar name in our Claris customer family. By embracing Claris Connect, they streamline their request for quote business process, enrich their CRM system, and reduced manual process by 160 hours per month, thereby improving sales volume. As Connect continues to create more success stories, let's talk about some of the exciting features we are working on. We are investing to bring more power to our users from business developers to professional developers so that they can create better solutions. And the features are seamless integration between Connect and FileMaker powered by FileMaker Event Trigger, providing extensibility to developers to write custom code in JavaScript using code blocks, batch processing, which will allow users to move large volume of data from one application to other, in a reduced time. Upload of CSV files for parsing and transformation so that it can easily integrate legacy apps to cloud apps. Being agile, we are continuously releasing connectors and enhancing our connector category for shipping, accounting, collaboration, CRM, ERP. We are also working on expanding our connectors to vertical markets like education, healthcare, and manufacturing to help users create best-in-class user experience between Connect 
and vertical apps. Let's see how Connect is automating distance learning and delivering value and flexibility to teachers and students by connecting apps like FileMaker, AI Connector, email, and more. I would like to invite Chris Hippolyte from iSolutions to show us a demo. Thanks, Angita. What I'd like to show is how the Claris platform can play an important role in distance learning for educators. What you're looking at here is a Claris FileMaker app that manages lessons and students assigned to those lessons. The educator needs to put in a transcript, a summary, and keywords. And we're gonna do all that through machine learning. So all the educator has to do is populate the Zoom ID field and Claris Connect does the rest. You'll notice that a transcript, a summary of the transcript, and even the keywords, all done almost instantaneously using machine learning within a Claris Connect flow. Also, the flow sends a personalized email, and when the student goes to their school approved calendar, they'll see that the due date for each lesson has automatically been added. Okay, why don't we go over to Claris Connect and take a look at the flow that makes this whole thing work. The first thing I wanna show you is the new FileMaker event trigger. This is where we can trigger on either the updating of a record, which I'm using here, the creation of a new blank record, or deleting a record. Now, in the case of updating a record, I've got a couple decisions I need to make. First, I'll pick the dev lessons layout to establish the context of the data that I'm going to communicate with back in my FileMaker app. And this next part's really cool, trigger conditions. I pick the zoom ID field from the field list and then choose not empty as the condition. Because this way, if a user updates any other field on the record when they commit, then the flow doesn't have to run. Now, the zoom trigger is where I'm getting the transcript, recording URL, and password from zoom. This next part is a really cool Monkey Learn connector preview. Monkey Learn is a machine learning resource that has extraction and keyword models available amongst many others. I'm gonna send the same transcript data over to Monkey Learn and it's going to extract a summary of the transcript. And then in step number five, it's gonna extract all the keywords. And that's how we get the data in the summary and the keyword fields in our app. Finally, back in our flow, I'm going to search for all the student records that are assigned to a lesson, and that's going to create the data set available to us down here in step number eight. This is the new repeat step. So for each assigned student, the flow is going to perform each of these two indented steps. That's how the student gets a personalized email sent to their school managed email address and how they get an event created on their individual school managed calendar. Back to you, Sangeeta. Thank you, Chris. Now let me show you how Connect is streamlining a shipping business process for an e-commerce store and providing a personalized user experience by using apps like Shopify, UPS, and using our exciting new feature, Code Blocks, and more. Let's take a look at the demo. Now I'm going to show you how Wix Autolites, an e-commerce store, is creating a delightful experience for its end customer, Nancy. And behind the scene, Wix Autolites is all powered by Connect. Let's say Nancy is looking for headlights for her car. She visits Wix Autolites, selects the one she likes, and places an order. She then receives an email with the shipment tracking number and is excited to see a coupon for her next purchase. Now, this is all done by Clarice Connect. Switching gears here, Wix Autolites is running their online store on Shopify, but they are using Connect to automate the shipping process. Let's see how. After the order is submitted, invoice is created in QuickBooks. Then shipping rates are calculated using UPS and sent to the shipping department along with the label link to confirm if the order has been shipped. Now here is where the workflow waits for human intervention. Once the approval is received, in the next step, it generates a coupon for the customer using the upcoming new feature code blocks written in JavaScript. Now, this is exciting. The code block calculates the discount percentage using the customer and the invoice information and then grabs the coupon code from an internal system, which does not have an on-prem agent. It then passes the code and the discount percentage to the next step, which is the email sent to Nancy. Now here we have a condition. If we have the coupon code, we send the email with the code 
else we send it without the code. Luckily, we have one. So we go ahead, map the code and the discount percentage in the email step along with a personalized message and send it to Nancy. As Connect continues to streamline these business processes, let's see what Giuliano has next. Thanks, Angita. With digital transformation being the process of integrating digital technology into all areas of business to solve operational problems, Clarice NextGen is going to be the platform that advances the creative potential of the main driver of such process, the business developers. We've been working heads down doing research and interviews to understand how business developers get their desired outcomes and how they're searching actionable insights today. We have been experimenting a lot, building prototypes and testing all kinds of frameworks and advanced technologies. And all these activities allowed us to identify what we consider the main capability of NextGen across the four technology pillars mentioned by Srini earlier. Those capabilities are process automation, powerful data visualization, a unified data fabric connected to any data source, and AI augmented rich analytics. These capabilities converge and join forces around what we call intelligent apps, a higher level of truly custom application for any given business to drive digital transformation in the workplace. We're working on NextGen with one goal in mind, delivering the best experience for a true intelligent local platform for business developers with the right balance between ease of use and advanced features. And it's not just about the features. With NextGen, we're changing the app development paradigm with a new process-centric development experience that allows you to uniquely focus on the problem you're trying to solve. This process-centric development experience is built on four key constructs. The process, made of all the steps needed to get to the desired outcome, allowing you to focus on the practical work people do. The people involved, if any, on each step of the process. The schedule, to establish deadlines and run your process on time. And last but not least, the data involved in the process, which can come from third-party apps, FileMaker solution, or the next-gen platform itself. In a world where digital transformation is causing teams to rethink how they execute the processes and workflows, next-gen is going to deliver the insights, actions, and outcomes needed. Intelligent apps will be of paramount importance to this a unified app fabric that encompasses your ecosystem that can support data-driven decision-making by streamlining and standardizing processes. We consider our community so important in the journey of building NextGen. So we would like to say thank you to the partners Scott Love, Chris Ippolite, Kevin Hammond, Todd Geist, and John Sindler that shared their valuable feedback so far and are as excited as we are about this new product defining it a game changer that will extend even further the value of Clarice File Maker. Next gen will be coming in 2021, so stay tuned for our updates. And with all this, what would a future Clarice experience look like? Back to you, Srini. Fantastic update, Giuliano. It's always exciting when the community says NG will be a game changer. I can promise you, it will be a game changer. Last year, when I introduced the concept of an NG, I shared with you that the low code and no code is becoming a secular trend driving digital transformation. But at the very same time, this secular trend is attracting the attention of all the players from the Microsofts and Amazons and the Googles to small players. How are we positioned to win this? Let me share with you my point of view. Every one of them is looking at this opportunity with a slightly different lens. For example, there are players like Monday.com and Asana. They look at the transformation from a lens of project-centric. So the apps you build, they're very much a time scale of the project-centric. Solutions such as Microsoft Teams and Slack, they're taking a people and collaboration-centric approach to driving transformation. And there are players like Airtable or even our own FileMaker, they take a data-centric, a database-centric approach to driving digital transformation. With NG, 
we are betting on a process-centric approach to driving transformation. We're betting on you, the business developers, that are close to a business process to drive the intelligent automation. Yet, we can work with all the other platforms. Our NG leads with process, it brings people and collaboration, it brings project and the data integration. I truly believe this is our opportunity. And the best part about NG is it works seamlessly with FileMaker. Now, let me share with you what's possible, what's ahead of us with all the products, with all the investment that we are making. I want you to travel with me in visualizing the future school experience that's built on Claris. I want to anchor this on one of my favorite phrases. It's about connecting the dots. The future school, like in the Indian transformation, it all starts with the outcomes. In today's world, what do the students want? Student wants to be able to get to self-paced distant learning. That's an outcome that they want. They want. As teachers in every school, their outcome that they, they drive towards is how do they drive their students towards mastery-based learning? And at the same time, in addition to just the learning, how do they promote good behavior in their students? And then as an administration, our focus is to drive the best ROI. How do I get the best learning moments or the best learning experience for every dollar spent? At the very same time, in today's times, we cannot succeed any experience without representing the overall well-being. So to facilitate these outcomes, again, everything starts from Claris Marketplace with all of you contributing your ideas, with your apps, with your add-ons, and with your flows. So many of you are already building many industry-leading school applications that facilitates online learning, that facilitates even utility services like bus routing. And things like in, the, in today's world, an application such as contact tracing or being built by others and other, other vendors. And even health check. One app that I'm super excited about is Gridcoin that some of our schools have built that recognizes that rewards good behaviors of their students so that they can exchange those grid coins for other goodies like coffee or donuts and things like that. Now, how do we create the next generation experience that achieves all these outcomes? It's by stitching these together. For example, the future NG or the Claris Intelligent app is, allows you to seamlessly stitch together the calendar with the contact tracing, with grid coin, and the global health check and mastery-based learning that, that in, takes into account the, the homework and the grades, and then creates the next generation experience that's built on Claris, that's delivered on the devices of, of, of choice for the students and, and teachers. These are the outcomes, and this is the experience that we can power. And what does this represent? When we build these experiences, the students are happy, the teachers are happy, the administration is happy, and at the very same time, we're also representing the overall well-being. And this is what we mean. Balance, excellence, and unity. Raise up to every challenging situation of the pandemic and come up with a transformational outcome that represents the overall well-being while achieving the, the outcomes that the schools want. Mastery-based learning, best outcome, students happy. And this is what is my passion of yoga. At Claris, yoga is not a part-time job for me. It's a full-time job, and Claris is my yoga. And how do we achieve these best experiences? Last year, I shared this with you, which is a three-part recipe. It all starts with an idea, of idea of the next generation experience, whether it's for the schools or hospitals or other industries. You lead with your idea. And with our products, Workplace Innovation Platform, and your technology built on top of it that's contributed to the marketplace, and a business model that's not just about growing economic value, but the business model that represents the overall well-being of the societies that we participate in. This is how we achieve better outcomes for ourselves, for our customers, and the partners, and for our community. To share with you the investments and the programs that we are launching this year in the Claris Academy, I would like to invite Janine to share the details with you.
Thank you, Srini, and hello, everyone. I'm Janine Campbell, Manager of Community Relations at Claris. Thanks for joining us for Engage. I'm glad to be here today to take a few minutes to share our vision for learning. We know that learning and community support are fundamentally part of your experience with the Claris platform. As the platform moves ahead the way Srini and his team showed us, our success comes back to you, our community, keeping pace with rapidly changing technologies. We have problem solvers with many skills and interests, and we need to provide a wide range of learning support for all of you. In short, whatever your goal, you should be able to find the help you need to make digital transformation happen and make your business better. To do this, we knew that we needed a better learning platform. We needed something flexible enough to create and consistently deliver relevant content and powerful enough to expand and support various learning journeys and topics that would speak to each individual in a personal and customized way. So just three months ago, we launched Claris Academy. It provides learning journeys that are based on your interests and goals, and it gives us the flexibility and the power that we need to organize the content that matters most to you. Since launch, we've had thousands of people using our initial learning track. And yes, it is tracks without a K, that's not a typo. And we have plans to create new learning journeys moving ahead. The Engage on-demand session content in the Academy is evidence of the flexibility that we have now. It's a great early test for this platform and allows us to share a lot of high value learning content that will interest many of you. We hope that you'll check it out as soon as we start publishing the Engage sessions later this week. Special thanks to the many members of our community for contributing their voices and expertise to these sessions. Going forward this year, you will see new learning plans as fast as we can cook them up. Whether you're getting started building powerful custom apps for yourself or your business, or you want to unlock the power of automated workflows and integrations, or you want to explore advanced concepts and emerging technologies, our intention is to have learning content for all of these interests and much, much more. Now with that said, we are underway on revamping our certification program. We know how important professional credentials are to our developer community. We'll share details on the next generation of Claris certification as soon as possible. To summarize, we believe that the Claris platform provides the ideal platform for delivering modern custom apps that you demand. And Learning Foundation is critical to success with it. We are with you on your journey. Thank you for joining us for Engage and for exploring the Academy as the conference continues. Now, I'll pass it back to Srini. Thank you, Janine. It's a great opportunity ahead of us. For us to realize the opportunity, I have few asks of each of you. Number one, it starts with marketplace. The only way we can build more intelligent experiences, powering the transformational outcomes, is by contributing to the marketplace with your apps and with your templates, with your business process flows, so that others can leverage and create more transformational experiences. Number two is let's embrace agility and the cloud smart technology. It's whatever the form factor that's convenient for you, whether it's being cloud native or on-prem or on the edge, always stay on the latest and greatest platform. That way you get the latest benefits. And the third one, let's continue to stay focused on building more intelligent apps that's aligned with the four pillars. Every that app that we build needs to be cloud smart, need to represent modern experiences, needs to include an automation that's facilitating a, a business process, driving better outcomes, and last but not least, advanced technologies. And the last one is dream big. We can only create transformational outcomes when we connect the dots for that transformational experience, the transformational outcomes in the schools, in the hospitals, in the manufacturing, in the automotive industry, or whatever the industry that you represent. And this is our moment. This is our opportunity. And the opportunity always starts with the unity that we are known for, Claris is known for, is by sharing. And one commitment that I'll make to all of you is I'm going to continue to engage with more of you worldwide 
to learn more from the great ideas that you're bringing into your workplaces and also how we can support you with more innovation across all our products. I'm so excited to be here with you and be part of this family. Once again, thank you very much for making me part of your family. Thank you. Namaste and stay safe.